This playthrough is rated E10+.
Man, what a way to start a game. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Valdemar here with the sequel to a fantastic game to an even better game, Shining Force 2. The only reason I press start right there at the beginning is because uh, it goes into the cutscene again. Man, in the first game, you kind of just start the game. Boom, there you go. But this one, they set, they set like a mystery, a tone, uh, cutscenes, un uh, mainly unique character sprites, and... I'm just ready to get into it, man. As a child, I was I was pumped when I played the second one. I liked the first one a lot, but if you like the first one, you're gonna absolutely love this game. This game is, I wouldn't say you know, like leaps and bounds, but it is a much improved experience of the first one. So uh, I'll talk about that as we get into the game. We, we were spent enough time watching that cutscene at the beginning, so but yeah, cutscenes. Um, I am playing Shiny Force 2. I am not playing an original cartridge on Sega Genesis, unfortunately. I am pay playing from a collection of Sega games uh, on my PS3 here, so it won't be a truly authentic experience, but I hope we'll keep it all the same. But anyway, it's like we got a creepy lady here. Uh, or man. <laughs> man, what? You called me woman. Yeah, well, all right, ma old man. I'm not old. I'm 37. Uh, anyway. Uh, <laughs> you're finally here. Ah, you don't. You look so confused. You don't know why you're here. Ah, yes, yes. I used to spell on you. Oh, we don't have the cute little elf girl from the first game, so. Oh well, that's fine. Ha <laughs> ha! Where are you going? You can't escape. Oh, that's creepy. From this mysterious forest, unless you help me. Uh, are you talking to me, lady, or the main character? What you gonna do? Well, start. I got nothing else to do, so I guess we're helping her with her tail. What should I call you? Data 1 or Data 2. That seems illogical, Captain. Alright, we get to name our character. Uh, and then, yeah, our character was a lot younger than the than Max with the pre previous game. You can name him whatever you want. You've got uh, uh, seven letters. But we're going to name him the, the canon version of his character. We're going to name him... Luckily, it doesn't take too long to get... His ca canon name, was, at least as far as I've researched, is Bowie! What we're gonna sing? We're gonna sing awesome pop songs, dance, magic dance, or we could call him Ziggy Stardust if we wanted to be a bit. Uh, rest in peace, David Bowie. Uh, anyway, yeah, his name is Bowie. So let's name it now. If you want to, if you want to have fun and name other characters in this game, as far as I understand, if you press and hold start 
when you end, it'll allow you to name everyone else in the game that joins you. However, I'm not going to do that because one, I want to keep the experience, but two, it'll spoil some characters that'll join you, even though it's pretty obvious who joined you in these games, but uh, we'll leave it as is. But anyway, let's send Bowie off to sing, sing uh, you know, some magical songs or fight some evil, I don't know. Bowie, nice name, huh? Are you a pop star? Were you, were you pretty famous? All right. Oh, and one extra feature in this game. You thought Shining Force 1 was easy? Well, look again, brother. Shining Force 2 adds difficulty settings. Yep. And basically the difference is how smart the AI is. So normal is your standard intelligence. They'll, they'll you know, attack weaker units and stuff like that, but they won't be super efficient at it and so forth and so on. Ouch is the hardest difficulty, and it basically makes the... AI ridiculously smart, you know, they'll every time you have a weak character or a character weak to something, they'll automatically go for it first. Uh, you need to have healing items and your best people and, uh, up at all times and well, as much as I like this game and I played it quite a bit, I've never actually I've I've beaten the game on hard mode before, but I've never tried super ouch and I'm not about to do that this time. So, let's go with the normal experience. Uh, that you would play if you normally just played this game and picked it up and I've, and I'm, I'm not really looking for a super jacked experience or something that'll stress me the stress me out I just want to play this for fun and as a recollection of the old days. So let's go with normal because we're we're wussies Okay, take it easy. eh? although I bet in Japan normal is easy mode I bet and hard is normal mode, but we're gonna go with normal ah, Good luck. You have no time to waste See you later granny as we enter the world of Shining Force. Happy music! Oh, and we get to move. Ah, oh, man, the music in this game is awesome. Like the previous game, they were good too, but man, they they really, they really changed. They really just stepped up their game in this game, or the music in this game. And we'll get to it when we get to it. So, investigate there. Another one there. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know why I did that. Yeah, gotta go downstairs. Let me guess. Are we? Uh, do we sleep in too long or something? Good morning, Bowie. You, you woke up late this morning. Did the storm wake you up? Oh, yeah. I had a weird dream about a king and, and magic and something about an ancient door, but, yeah, probably nothing. Hurry to school. Sir Astral and Sarah must be waiting. Sarah with capital letters! I assume that's our mom. Let me investigate the area. Nothing was there. Come on. Nuts. All right, how about this? Let me investigate the bookshelf. A book! Attitude of Soldiers! I'm almost gonna have to not yell, but I'm also gonna be a little bit more excited when it's capitalized, because that's how that's how it's supposed to work. I mean, if you've ever been on forums, you know, if you type in all capital letters, it's assumed you're uh, yelling. You know, I don't. I think in this game. Oh, sorry. Uh, Bowie examined the water basin. Soapy water. Gulp, gulp. Yuck! That tastes terrible. Why did you drink it? What's wrong with you, Bowie? Are you special, Ed? I mean, if you are, that's fine. Just you know, just let us know now. But. Uh, uh, Oh, he's not highlighted, so he wouldn't let me talk. I was like, what? Wait, what? Do I have to search people to talk to? Unless there's a... Oh, that's right. In this game, you uh, don't talk to people. You have to press square. Or, sorry. You have to press, like, uh... Let me look at the controls again, sorry. Uh, talk is... I think that was the f button number one. I think it was in the previous game. But, yeah, you have to press... You have to actually press a, a unique button for talking. <laughs> you know the penalty of talking. Um, Sir Astro is the wisest person in Grand Seal. He's such a great man. He opened the school all by himself. You must realize how lucky you are. Well, thanks, I think. Oops. I keep going to member. Uh, oh, sorry. Bowie investigated the vase. It was dark inside. Hmm. Another one's there. Oh, yeah, I guess I should talk to Mom again really quick. Hold on. I didn't talk to her after she sent me out. Hey, Mom. Hurry to school, Shasha. Sure, must be winning. Oh, okay. Cool. And like in the previous games, we'll check, talk to all the people, check all the stuff. You know. He thinks you of his own grandson. Sometimes he may badger you, but that's because he loves you. Yeah, he, he hugs me with love. He talks my ear off with love. I think this, if I remember this game, I think it does have secret, like, hidden items and stuff like that. So we'll keep that all uh, aware as we uh, check the game. But we looked into the well. A deep well. Actually, I think you can use the talk function to search, too, I think, if it's an important item. Hi, hi boy. Good morning. How are you going to school? Say, Sir Astral's certainly a great person. He even teaches a mis mischievous kid like yourself. Oh, I guess he does. Thanks for calling me mischievous, I guess, or mischievous. Whatever. 
Pepper. Good morning, Bowie. It's just a wonderful day, isn't it? Ah, uh, yes it is, ma'am. Or a few, a few, depending on how you translate it. But yeah, our character was a lot younger than uh, than um, Max from the previous game. So, uh, uh, just a random crystal ball just sitting there. Mm. I assume we don't have any money, so we can't really buy stuff yet. So, what the? Oh, I thought I could see anybody. You are really boy. Where are you going? Where on earth are you going? There's no school inside. Go to school. What are you, the truant officer? Uh, fine. Hey, can I buy weapons? I'm a kid. I, I can. I, I'm an adult. I'm an adult. Ah, uh, would be a customer. Sorry, we're not open yet. Uh, nuts. Uh, good are you then? Wait, you're just opening the shop, or are you talking about just in the morning opening? Oh man, this this uh, music is so catchy. Oh man, I, I I'll actually listen to the soundtrack. Not all the time, but I listen to music, video game music quite regularly on my downtime. So, like when I'm working on other projects and stuff like that. But we looked in the barrel. It was empty. Great. But we investigated the base. It was dark inside. Like his soul. Alright. Anyway. Yeah, a good deal of this episode is probably just going to be set up, if anything. Kind of like uh, when I played Shiny Force 1. Grand Seals Harbor is behind me. All ships left early this morning. I uh, went out to go fishing or something like that, huh? Uh, and yes, if uh, just to let you know, this is in the same world as Shiny Force 1. I think it's supposed to be like quite a few centuries since the first game, if I remember correctly. There are some references to the previous game, but I, as far as I know, there's no direct... Oh, I'm supposed to go here. I'll check that back there in a second. Um, I just want to... Hey, the priest. Oh, he's got a face now instead of just like some faceless healer. Welcome. Your desires will be fulfilled. And like in the previous game, you can cure yourself of poison and such, raise yourself from the dead, you can promote people. I like the little visage, it shows a man becoming, or a baby becoming a man. I'm a man! But anyway, yep. Be careful, the light is always on your side. But yeah, same as the previous game. So the game, the previous, this game has a lot of the same features as the previous, whoa. You can enter the council grant, so go away! But I'm a citizen, I have a right to go see my lord. Actually, depending on which country, that's kind of true, but... I don't know, maybe I'd, if I don't own land, I, I probably don't. All right, let's go to school. Fine. Luckily, I'm wearing pants this time. Oh, look to the barrel. It was empty. All right. Ooh, we got centaurs again, like in the previous game. Who's this guy? ooh -wee. I'm sleepy. Uh, uh, Yaha must be sleeping soundly about now. And who's this? Oh, lovely elf girl. Hi, Bowie. How are you? Sir Astra's in the basement, but he looks strange today. I think, I think in this game, personally, I think they do a bit better job at characterization, because in the previous game, as soon as a character joined your team, they're pretty much out for story purposes unless you go into the headquarters. In this one, I think they some of the characters are more interacted with the story. Not a whole lot more, but we'll get to that when we get to that. But we investigated the bookshelves. A book. Healing magic! Okay, okay, you don't have to yell, book. But we looked at the paper. It reads, nothing to fear but fear itself. Paper looked at the paper. It reads, look before you leap. Well, that's sound words, I guess. But we looked at the paper. It reads, no pain, no gain. Is this true? Uh, somewhat. Okay, it just says the same thing. All right. Into the basement. The creepy basement with our teacher. Oh, yes. Oh, uh, yeah. It must be. No, it's not. Uh. Huh, you look like Gandalf. I wonder if that. Oh, wait. Did the Hobbit cartoon come out before? I think it did. He might be based off that. But investigate the bookshelves. The book. Sega Guide! Sounds good. <laughs> oh, man. Do they even have things like that anywhere? Like, strategy guides are, like, going out of business because everyone just goes online or everyone has walkthroughs like this. Although I'm not saying I'm a good walkthrough. I'm just saying. Now, investigate the bookshelf. The book. Little Dinosaurs! But investigate the bookshelves. The book. Be good! Okay, okay. Bookshelf. The Legend the legend of Max. Oh, well, there you go. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to yell that part. My bad. Uh, the Legend of Max. So that is a reference to the first game. Uh, let's see. What's in here? But let's get the base. Found a metal cord. Ooh, you get something. But we received a metal cord. Even the get music's awesome. Da 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 da. Uh, but we investigate the bookshelves. A book. Science 101. Sorry, I didn't mean to skip through that. But we investigate the bookshelf. A study. A book. A study of yogurt. Oh, God. Yogurt. I hate yogurt. Even with strawberries. No. Yeah, worst character ever. But we investigate the bookshelves. A book. Guide to the castle. But we investigate the bookshelf. A book. An old goat. Sir Astro. Ooh, ouch. Hey, Teach. 
Oh, morning, Bowie. Where did you come in? Is it time to start school? Okay, I'm coming up soon. Alright, see you there. You don't have to come, you know. I get to sleep in. By the way, Bowie, what did you think of the storm last night? Did you feel something evil or anything? That's not prem uh, a premonition of things to come, is it, game? Oh, nothing? Uh, perhaps it's just my imagination. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Yeah, it's just our imagination. Uh, uh, yes, yeah. Ah, to you, Bowie. I thought it was Sir Astral. No, not yet. I'm, I'm, I'm only 16. Actually, I think the main character, I think Bowie's like 15 or 16, if I remember correctly. What's wrong with you? Your seat's next to Chester, but I must sit next to you, Sarah. Ah, nuts. All right, fine. Is there one here? Okay, let's start. Where is Yaha? Ever slept again? Oh, well. I can't wait for him. Are there really only like four children in this town? Man, what a small town, I guess. Where did I leave off yesterday? Oh, good. Strostral! <laughs> Mister, would like to come, you to come to the castle. What has happened? Why are you so... The king, he's fallen down and he's great pain. What? The king? Okay, I'm coming. I guess class dismissed? Sorry, kids, I have to go to the castle. Stay here. What? Ugh, and do what? Bowie, did you hear that? The king is sick. But I think it must be something else. He was acting so strange. Maybe. Hey, Chester, let's go to the castle. Well, you're not going to talk to me about it? You're going to talk to Chester? We can't, Sarah. We're just kids. They won't let us in. Never mind that. I have a plan. Wait, the wizard is a... I assume she's a wizard because of her staff, but... Or, it, or a magic user. Maybe the healer. Bowie, man, we can meet the princess. Are you going with us? Ooh, a princess. Yes, please. Uh, nah, I just want to stay here and just work on my art. I'm an artist by heart. I was thinking about making music. You know what this name? No, really? And I'm not going either. But if you change your mind, let me know right away. Yeah, the game can't start until you actually go to the castle. So, yeah, I do want to go to the castle, but Bowie, how about you? All right, uh, I don't think any dialogue changes. Uh, I'm going to go home. Really quick, but yeah, the game can't proceed until you go. It's, it's uh, but that must. Let's see what it uh, Let's see what happens if I go home. Ah, <laughs> I'm busy. The storm last night messed up the house. I was about to do it in a yelly voice just because you know, she's like, all right, was he say anything? Yeah, do, do, do. must realize how lucky you are. Yep. Oh, ah. Happens when you hold the button. It kind of reminds me of Rockery of Time, where you know you press the button to get past the Owl's dialogue, and then you, uh, then you accidentally they put the uh, yes to repeat option on the top. Jerks. All right, can we go in now? Nope. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's go back to uh to let's let's go ahead and uh, let Sarah get get us into some hijinks. Otherwise, the game cannot go on. Oh, we say you tired to go? Yes, but thou must! Great, let's go right now. Hurry. What? Oh, are you going? I'm going too. Sarah the priest and Chester the knight have joined the shining force. Da, 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 da. Oh, sorry. I'm a, I'm a bit off, but yeah, that's fine. <laughs> All right, we got our first party members. Sarah the, the cleric and Chester the knight. Uh, Chester's Knight, just like the previous game, high mobility, uh, I'll have to look up his stat growth, because they're actually, unlike Shining Force 1, Shining Force 2 has actually better, um, like, websites and stuff dedicated to characters in this game, I think because there's less characters than in Shining Force 1, but there's a, a lot better ways to look up, like, stat growth and stuff like that, but anyway. Holt, where do you think you're going? Well, let's see, um, yes, uh, Aster Astro called us. Why? Where is Pupils? He left the package behind, Dan. A package, huh? You want to deliver to him? Okay, go ahead. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> Be good at the castle, okay? Oh, well, okay. I didn't know you could just lie. That, that makes it easier. Anything else? To deliver him a package? Really? It's like you guys don't believe it, but you're going to do it anyway because of plot. Okay, whatever. That'll work. Uh, anything else here? 
I don't think any new dialogue pops up too from anyone by going to the castle. I know, I know, Dragon Thing is out. In the future, I'll, I'll be a lot more smooth about it. Uh, okay, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine, we'll just leave it as is. The mom was the only one that had different dialogue anyway, so. Alright. Oh, nice, uh, re redo the music from the previous game. I hate fighting, but I've almost forgotten how to fight in this peaceful kingdom. I'm gonna, I'm going to the ancient shrine in the south to kill some rats. Yeah. The first rule of RPGs, rats are in the first encounter in any, any game. North of Gollum is a country on our border, but we are allies. Do you really need to guard our country? Some younger soldiers think that peace is boring, but they're wrong. Yeah, peace is awesome. But, uh, you know, it's a fantasy action-adventure game. You can't have peace for long, otherwise you get bored. Let's see, that's inside the main castle. I mean, this game does have some reused themes from the previous game, which is perfectly fine. Shining Force had some good music, so... But they do have some new songs and beats and stuff like that here, too, so... Uh, who are you? I'm tired because I was standing watch all night. Long morning. Just do some Three Stooges noises. Bo <laughs> looked in the well. A deep, dark well. Very cool. <laughs> yes. Very cool. It is cool, man. Weapon storage. The weapons inside could be rusty. We haven't opened the door for many years. Huh. Well, that's not good. Shouldn't, aren't you supposed to polish stuff like that on a regular basis to make sure that uh that didn't happen? Okay. Can't really check those things. Oh, yeah. Well, with the members button, we can now check uh, our stats a lot quicker than we could in the previous game. So, yep. Sword, uh, sword man, a priest, and knight. Oh, uh, Sarah's your typical priest. Heal. Can do some damage on the front line, but mainly the heal battery. Um, can we actually pick this stuff up? Open the chest. He found a medical herb. Ooh. All right. We'll take that. So we received the medical herb. Uh, Bowie opened the chest. Bowie found angel wing. But he passed the angle going to Sarah. Oh, yeah, in this game, uh, unlike the previous game where if your inventory was full and you just dropped and you left it, in this game, you actually pass it on to the next character. Well, at least in uh, exploration mode, anyway. So, but it was a chest. But he found an antidote. But he passed the antidote to Chester. Okay, cool. Got the antidote. Uh, antidote cures poison. Um, let's see. Give. But anyway, uh,. I don't know why the medical roots look like boots with green leaves sticking out or something like that. But anyway, uh, yeah, we just got we got wood and stuff, so we're not very full. Uh, we're not very full. Uh, in the previous game, Angel Wings take you back to town if you don't have the magic for it. Uh, medical herbs heal 10 HP, and antidotes cure poison. So there you go. Uh, okay, with that out of the way, let's. Uh, yeah, there weren't any weapons in there, dude. There were only. Uh, healing items and stuff. Uh, I feel chipped for taking this free stuff. Uh, let's go in the kitchen. Maybe we can steal some food. Looked in the barrel. It was empty. Aw. What is she doing now? She brought the key over his breakfast over an hour ago. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about, but... Eh, nothing in the barrel. Nothing in the barrel. Uh, if you play... If, if we were playing the Atelier Era series, they would say, like, barrel and weird voices and everything like that. I don't know why that's like a a thing in that series. In the, the Tillier series, like, anytime you check a barrel, they have to say it. How busy I am. I'm soldiers eat, er, here every day without doing any work. But I think that's okay. Soldier job is fighting. And then when they actually get to fighting, they, they're they not good at it. So, oh, well. It was empty. Uh, just checking. Uh, let's see what's in here. Uh, let's see. Hello. Who's been warm lately? Oh, yes. Oop, oop, nothing there. If you can't search anything with square, then it's nothing there. Look at the barrel. It was empty. And we're going to see. We've seen a lot in game, this game, folks. And I can't check the cabinets. Oh, I can't get... What? I can't check the bookshelf? No! Must check bookshelf. Ah! This guy to mess with my OCD. Ah! Who are you? Get out of here! Boys are not allowed to come in our dressing room. Oh, I mean, I guess I am a boy. All right. Looks like we've started off our adventure. We've seen an awesome cutscene that we as the characters know nothing about. We've got some uh, companions already ready to go. Uh, and we're heading to the castle to talk to the king and maybe meet the princess. But what happened to the king? Is he truly sick? Or is it just a case of indigestion? And do, uh, do darker things await the kingdom of uh, Grand Seal and our characters to follow? Find out next time in the next episode of Shining Force 2. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.